Let's kick off your Thursday afternoon chat. And one of the most popular artists in our house is Brit Nicole. Poll in my house, Brit Nicole will come up first as the most popular artist in our house. Welcome, oh. ma'am. It is great to have Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. So good to talk with you today. Well, we have a lot to say congrats for, but let me just start by saying you made it into a very special place in our home. We have a Brit Nicole poster that has just been added to the, the kids' playroom upstairs. So everything upstairs, oh, yeah. there's a Toy Story <laughs> poster, there's Brave, you know, all these great Pixar movies, posters, and then yeah. there's a music section where you've got Johnny Cash and you are now right between Johnny Cash and Bob Marley and Need to Breathe. Well, goodness. That's so. a good company. I'm, I feel honored. Thank you. <laughs> you've made the wall. Congrats. Thank you. That's very cool. I used to, when I was little, I had posters all in my room. So I know, I know that feeling. Like, and, and for me to have made a, a kid's wall is amazing. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Now, can you name all the new kids on the block that were on your wall or... They are. I didn't say new kids on the block. I just said people. Jordan. <laughs> Actually, Jordan. I had like Toby. Uh, first of all, the re-release of Brit's new album, Gold, is coming out on the 26th. Uh, we're now okay. playing the song Gold. The song Gold has now you know, started spinning up against Rihanna Records and, and Maroon 5 Records, which puts you in a whole different studio on, on these little tours right now. What can you tell our audience about you know, stopping in to visit with me and then going to the, the top 40 stations to talk about Gold? What's been the difference for you as a believer? Yeah, um, you know, for me, it's, a lot of people ask me, like, is it really really different and the goal for me as an artist has always been to reach as many people with my music as possible and and honestly with the love of God and so this is just really an opportunity that God has opened um, and for my music and I'm I'm just so grateful like I feel like you know these are opportunities every time we walk into a pop station um, we went to a station a pop station and um, I was seeing gold just for some of the staff people at the at the station and one girl just kind of wiping tears the whole time and it was just so amazing to see the impact that it was having on her and and really that happens at like all the stations and that's what's just so cool is like okay everywhere we go whether it what regardless of what type of station it might be or format you know it's an opportunity and we just really honestly look at it kind of the same as we would um, if we were walking in to, to see you guys, you know, it's just an opportunity to love people. Love the song Gold and the video for it. Just wondering if the song was intended for a certain young person in your life specifically. No, I think it's just more intended for a lot of young people. Yeah. You know, one when I was writing the song, um, I always write songs that I feel like I need to hear because I'm like, if I need to hear this, then there's got to be somebody else that needs to hear it. And I was having a day where I was feeling really down, just really, I was just being really hard on myself, I felt like. And I was meeting people at my shows who were doing the same thing, whether it be a girl in high school, a girl in college, a mom who would say, you know, I feel like I'm not a small, I feel like you can't get it together. All different ages of people, all types of people. I thought, man, you know, what does God say about us? Like, instead of what we say about ourselves, and I actually started looking up scriptures and found one that said, you know, he says we're a royal priesthood, and he says in Psalms that he's crowned us with glory and with honor. And these are things that we don't see about ourselves. We just see, like, a lot of times the negative and the bad, you know. Mm-hmm. But God says, you know, I see you as a royal priesthood. I see you as a king. I see you as a queen. And um, just to say to people, you know, look in the mirror and see yourself the way God sees you and hold your head up and walk with a confidence, you know, not with arrogance, but with the confidence of saying, I know who I am and I know that I'm not defined by my success or what I have or how pretty I am or what people say about me, but I'm defined by who I am and, and who God says that I am. And um, so it's it's really written for everybody. Right. And I wrote it for myself as well. Going to be a, a mama for the first time coming up this summer. <laughs> That's right. Got married last summer. And so... That's right. A lot going on. You can tell where a lot of my questions might be headed here. <laughs> all right. Envelope okay. two for you. Uh, all right. The thing that freaks you out the most, Britt, about being a mom later this year, just deep in your mind, you're going, whoa, mama. You know, it, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's on your mind. Well, you know, at first, you know, I think you always have those feelings of like, oh my gosh, can I do this? Especially, you know, traveling and, and all of that. 
um, that that's kind of going on right now. But I, I've, I've been reading a lot about like you know being a mom and all these different things, and I have these dreams that like you know I like drop the baby, you know something <laughs> like crazy, and I'm like, and, and, and the book will say like you know that you will have dreams like that as a new mom because yeah. you just you know you want so much to take such good care of your baby that you you just think the craziest things, you know, yeah. and so. So sometimes I'll wake up and I'll be like, like that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I have the same no, dreams about funny. dead air. I wake up in the middle of the night, just like I've got dead hair. Do something. Put on a CD. <laughs> Except in the dream, they're records or cassette tapes. Push, push, play. <laughs> what was it? Uh, I think yeah, a lot of a lot of women have that one about the dropping the baby. Except when they go down to pick it up and take the blanket off, it's it's like a frozen turkey or it's something that's not the baby. <laughs> yeah, something silly. <laughs> totally. That's. I mean, it's it's hilarious, and I'll, I'll like wake up and I'll tell my husband like, "Hey, that is dream," and he's like, "Hey," and he's like, "That's that's not gonna happen. It's just a trick." I'm like, "Okay, okay." At least not tonight at 3 a.m. Can we please? That's right. Like, How will you and your husband address the naming issue for for baby number one, if you don't mind? Yes. Well, we have been um, discussing names. We don't know if it's a boy or girl yet. We find out next month, and so. Um, I think that's obviously, well, that's definitely going to help. Okay. <laughs> right now, we're kind of just like going back and forth. And I mean, we want something, you know, that means something to us. We've talked about a couple people that we would even, in, in our family, that we would like to name the baby after. I don't know. You know, I don't have, like yesterday, it was like midnight and I was on a plane. And I'm looking out the window and I'm like, just, just, all these names are going through my head. And I'm like, okay, I just need to just rest from it right now. Yeah. But I think once we find out what the baby is next month, um, we'll take we'll like really kind of dig in and go, okay, what what do we want to name the baby? But I don't know, like I, I haven't found a, a name yet that I'm in love with. There is no leader in this. <laughs> is it going to be one of those things where okay, you submit three, I'll submit three, we'll come together, we'll get one veto. Uh, like, like, no, you ain't doing that. And then he says the same to you. And then you try to find common ground. I don't. I mean, that's a good idea. Maybe we'll try that. We, we like. Well, he has already said a couple names that I was like. My first response was like, Oh no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> but, but I'm realizing like I just have to go. Okay, baby, I got. Okay, that's an option. You know. So maybe we'll have to do that. Maybe you'll have to submit a couple. I, I think. I think your real last name now is is a legendary. Crosby is my new last name. Yeah, Sydney Crosby is like the new Michael Jordan of the hockey world. So I thought you'd. Oh, I didn't know that. You know, That's may, cool. Maybe name. Never mind. We could name him after Sydney. <laughs> okay. Not if you I'll don't know who. Us. Not if you don't know who he is. <laughs> I'm like, let's name the baby after Sydney Crosby. I have no clue who that is. But well, Jr. said it was the new Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> been married for a, not even a year. Or no, has it been a year? Um, nope, not yet. It'll be eight months on um, March 1st. The biggest adjustment now that you didn't see coming back, you know, th- there was the honeymoon phase, and now eight months right. in, you're going, whoa, that was not in the brochure. Well, you know, okay, I will say um, there's definitely those moments, and I'll talk about those, but I'll say what, one really good thing that Josh and I were able to have was we dated um, for five years before we got married, and so for us, we, we moved kind of slow, and um, that was really good for me because... I just felt like, you know, obviously the timing needed to be right. And there was a lot of stuff that we actually got to work through before we got married. Where, like, a lot of people say, like, you know, your first year of marriage can be kind of hard. And I'm grateful that we haven't, you know, had a super hard year <laughs> in being married our first year. But I think part of that was just being able to work through a lot before we got married. Um, but I think, like, the biggest thing that we've had to just learn is, like, and I'm sure everyone kind of says this answer, but it's, communicating you know I think for me like I in the past even when we you know did first get married I would easily just like go like oh just kind of put that under the rug and we'll just talk about it later you know yeah. instead of like really talking about things and, and dealing with them and then they would come up you know and he's like why are you so angry and I'm like well remember that one time you know and it's <laughs> like from forever ago <laughs> you yeah. know and so like really just we've gotten a lot better at talking about things in the moment and saying even if we're like okay the last thing we're both tired the last thing we want to do is talk about this right now but we need to, to, to talk it out and figure it out you know and so just talking and, and being learning how to, to talk to each other like 
you know, we, he's from Canada. I'm from North Carolina. I'm from the South. We were raised differently, you know, and your parents do things different ways. And so learning how to have a conversation, if one person's more of like a big personality and one person's more laid back, you know. So, you know, just learning each other. And, and the biggest thing is just like, okay, you know, we have to talk. Which sometimes my husband is like, can we just let it go? Like, just, we don't have to talk about everything. And I'm like, okay, you're right. Because I'm a, I'm a talker, you know. I want to talk everything out. Right. <laughs> And, and dirty socks laying around does that not my husband I know this isn't normal but he is a neat freak and okay. he, I'm actually the one that he's like okay like your closet is crazy and you have stuff everywhere and I'm like really it's supposed to be the opposite so, <laughs> that's so I think that's biblical or something I don't know <laughs> uh, Britt this is I know what, what did we say off the air uh, there's, you've got so many things going on right now um, yes. that have been going so good it's like congrats on your oh, oh my. life <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah someone came up to me the other day they're like hey congrats and, and I was like okay are they talking about marriage are they talking about the baby or the song <laughs> yeah it's a song what is it and yeah. uh and they could say you know what congrats on your life and it was it was, a, it was funny so I said I'm gonna keep um announcing something every month right. on Twitter. <laughs> we got a new like, car crazy yeah <laughs> like something big and people are gonna be like alright Brett I'm sick of you <laughs> you're like stop announcing things <laughs> that shows I'm either a guy or I'm shallow because when I said congrats when we first picked up up, I meant congrats on gold getting picked up by mainstream stations when others might have gone with baby or, or <laughs> mar- marriage. But anyway, uh, you're a very hardworking person, very talented, but a heart of gold. So no pun intended. Uh, always, Thank you so much. Yeah, always appreciate the time. Thank you, JR. It was great to talk to you today. The Q. It's Afternoons with JR. 99.7.